Welcome back to Sporns Bro. In this video, I'm going to show you how to grow mushrooms out of a laundry basket using cold water pasteurized straw. This method is the easiest way to produce a bulk amount of substrate for growing mushrooms and you don't have to mess around with boiling a large amount of water. The first step of the process is to create your own mushroom grain spawn. Here I'm inoculating 3 pound bags of sterilized rye grain using 2 milliliters each of pink oyster mushroom liquid culture. You can find a variety of mushroom liquid culture syringes on my website which I will leave a link for in the description. And I'll also leave a link in the description for the video tutorial on how to make your own sterilized rye grain. Because the bags have a self-healing injection port, it is not necessary to do this part in front of a laminar flow hood or even a still air box, as long as you wipe the injection port with isopropyl alcohol before inoculating. After inoculating the bags, let them sit on a shelf in a room that is around 75 to 80 degrees Fahrenheit, and then after 7 days, the mycelium should be growing from the injection site. At this point you can shake the bags of grain to distribute the mycelium and speed up colonization. And after another 7 days they should be almost fully colonized. Now that the grain bags are fully colonized it's time to create the cold water pasteurized straw. Here I'm filling up a 55 gallon metal drum with cold water. Once the drum is full of water, I weigh out 330-ish grams of hydrated lime, which is calcium hydroxide. It is important to choose a brand with a low magnesium content. I'll leave a link in the description for this specific product. After adding the hydrated lime, I just use this long rake to mix it together. Now I just stuff as much straw as I can into these mesh bags, which I'll leave a link for in the description. I can fit two of these mesh bags full of straw inside of the barrel. By soaking the straw in this lime treated water for 12 hours, the elevated pH level disrupts the cell walls of foreign microorganisms, effectively killing them and helping to reduce the competition for the mushroom mycelium. I use a heavy stump to keep the bag submerged for 12 hours. After 12 hours the bag should be sufficiently hydrated and pasteurized. Then I just hang the bags to drain for a couple hours. After the bag stopped dripping, the straw should have the perfect moisture content and now you can start layering the straw in with the grain spawn into buckets or even a laundry basket. For this one laundry basket, I'm using two 3 pound bags of colonized pink oyster grain spawn and I break them up and mix them in layer by layer. After all the spawn is mixed in with the straw, I just set the container inside of my barn and covered the top with one of the mesh bags.
It only took about seven days for the mushrooms to start popping up through all of the slits in the laundry basket. Because there is so much open space for the mushrooms to grow out of, there's going to be plenty of mushrooms, but the size may be smaller. They grew so fast that by the time I went back out to check on them, they had already grown to maturity, started drying out a tad, and lost the pink color. So after adding the spawn to the straw, it only took about 7 days for all of these mushrooms to grow out of the basket. The straw was dried out so I just rehydrated it with some water and then set it back out to grow some more. And I was able to catch the second flush and see some beautiful pink oyster mushrooms. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, leave a comment down below and don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos just like this one.